Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. You're not going to have to see this blurry screen for long. I'm going to share it. Looks like we have multiple banks that have been hacked and are they're saying down for maintenance, but there's all kinds of interesting things. I want to share the screen and I'm going to go to this screen here. First off, we're going to start with this one. Truest uh, Bank. Uh, I got multiple uh, accounts through my email of subscribers that are saying that they were hacked. They're, they had been told that they had a hack going on and they cannot access their bank account. Now, this is what we've been talking about for a while. I'm going to click over here to this right here, the community tab, go into the community tab. And what I want to show you is this. These are the comments that I got. And this is the, the, the post that I put on, and it's about the problems the last 24 hours. This was pretty quick in the last 20 minutes, 27 reports. And this was this morning when I posted this, right? For these uh, people not able to get on to their uh, into their bank account. So check this out through the comments. Um, all right, it says, keep watching for Friday afternoon, worst news. Uh, someone's saying it was routine maintenance, but then they got a couple of them. Um, let's see here. Uh, from from Dylan, uh, they asked me to confirm my phone number when signing on app. Why? Because that's where they send security notifications. All right, it makes sense. Um, couldn't access one of my accounts earlier today. Strange because it's payday. Never happened before. From Melanie. It says right here um, from Anonymous, my dad had an account with them. He tried to check and see if his pension check was deposited earlier today and it wasn't able to check online, he called the local branch and they told him they were having a difficult time with the computer system. I think he was finally able to get on about 45 minutes ago. I'm going to talk about this in a second, but there's some other stuff going on here. Um, dude, Dave, Dave's been a, a contributor to this channel forever, you know, uh, commenting and, and hitting the thumbs up. And I thank you so much, Dave he says right here, he couldn't get on either due to scheduled maintenance. Um, now, right here, another person saying that KeyBank is unaccessible as well. I'm not familiar with KeyBank. Um, let me know in the comment section if you guys are from KeyBank, if you're having problems there too. Um, right here from Frank, uh, tried making an insurance payment. Two temporary passwords didn't work. Called to make the payment. Uh, phone line went dead. And he's wondering if that was related. Can't get on to online banking here. So I got okay, a lot of stuff right here. Uh, Jacqueline says, unable where I'm at in Pennsylvania. All right. So I want to explain something very clearly. I've been talking about getting your money out of the bank and I've been using it. Obviously, it's a it's a well, it's a clickbaity kind of title, but I've been giving very important reasons to diversify your banks. I didn't mean get all of your, I never said that. And I know people didn't mean it, understand it to be this, but take all your money out of the bank and go put it underneath your mattress. Uh, but get multiple bank accounts. There are so many people I know it's just one bank. And what if you have key vital business you've got to handle today and your bank is going under a hack, a denial of service attack, um, E, or if it's really routine maintenance, which really it isn't. They don't do routine maintenance unless there's a problem in the middle of the day during business hours when people need to do things, right? Transactions need to happen. Uh, this is why you have multiple banks. And I've told you guys so many times and I, I keep wanting to share this with so many new people and, and so many of you understand the importance of being diversified in your banks, having a international bank, having a large regional bank, having a local bank, um, and then having a credit union as well. And then not only that, making sure that... Uh, if you have tons of funds, you know, like there are vaulting companies that you can just store cash with the vaulting company as well. I know it sounds crazy, but these are the days where you have to be prepared for anything to happen. And when you have, you know, big organizations like the World Economic Forum and all these guys, you know, the World Bank, the IMF, you know, talking about the possibility of cyber attacks and destroying our financial system, you got to figure it's only a certain, you know, it's only a certain amount of time away before something really big happens. These are one-off events. Please put in the comment section if you understand what I'm talking about or you agree. And if you're being, if your bank's being affected, what's the name of your bank? I want to get this information out because I think it's so vital that people understand how important it is to be diversified in their banking system, right? It is a lot more to handle as far as, you know, checking your balances and all that kind of stuff, depending on if you're paying bills out of different accounts. But it also helps on a budgetary standpoint too, to be able to put money in one bank account and you don't touch it unless this comes up or that comes up, you know? And so it could be a, a really neat tool for saving as well. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to share this with you, just multiple uh, banks it looks like going down for uh, 
routine maintenance, which I can guarantee you is not routine and it's not maintenance. So I hope you guys got something out of this. With that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.